it's not Toyota powered anymore. No, it's not.
What's up guys, Cameron here with Fuel Tech USA. I have Michael Acero and what year MR2 is this? 91. 91 M, dang, it's yeah. as old as I am. Yeah, there you go. Um, <laughs> it's a good year. <laughs> uh, you've had this car for a long time, right? You said yeah. you got a high school graduation gift, I 2008. think. Yeah, 2008. 2008, okay. Yeah. And it's not Toyota powered anymore. No, it's not. So I've, uh, like I said, I had it since 2008. My dad bought it for me for a graduation present. Um, it was a naturally aspirated car at first and uh, threw the JDM 3SGT in it and had a lot of fun on that and uh, got a little greedy, tuned it and cracked the block. Um, two engines later, I'm like, let's throw some Honda power in it. And here we are today. It took me about a year. I've, I built everything myself, but um, I went with four piston racing. Um, their, their engine, their KT1000, it's sitting in here and we got a 6785 Sportsman turbo on it. Um, you know, Magna fuel, IDX injectors. Uh, custom fab exhaust. I did all the, the fab work myself, but uh, but yeah, so made some serious power today. It's a dog box, right? Yep, dog box. Dog CP3. box, so you can do some like high ass shifting. Yep, yep, exactly. Um, and it made, what did it make? A thousand? 1025. It made 1025 yep, at a little over 30 pounds. Yep. It's pretty sporty. Yeah, yeah. And I, Anything that I know about these, they're they kind of wheelie a little bit. So yep. we're gonna we're gonna hook you up with some wheelie control stuff and yep. show you how to do all that. Um, are are you gonna be racing in any kind of particular class or like what's the what's the end goal? Uh, honestly, I, I don't know. I just want to get on the track and hopefully win some races, uh, stick shift class, okay, something like that next year. I know the season's pretty late right now, so we'll see what I can get into for the end of the year. But we'll start next year. What's your local racetrack? Where do you usually uh, go? Uh, Thunder Valley. It's uh, a okay. yeah Bristol Motor Speedway. So I'm in Tennessee, but uh, but I know there's a lot of stuff local or close like Raleigh, North Carolina, stuff like yeah. that. So. Yeah. Cool. Well, I had fun. Um, obviously, there was a little bit of struggles along the way, but yeah. any, with any kind of new setup, that's uh, kind of just part of the deal. We were able to work through all that kind of stuff, and now you have a, a hot rod that you can go have fun with and bang gears in. Yep. And uh, I look forward to seeing you at the racetrack somewhere. Yeah. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate all the help and support. And we'll see you guys next time.